love you All the good times we had I wish I could repeat them For the past three months Love and feeling a little fever Hi everyone, please be sure to get yourself some merch. The Tarya the Poet merch is the best type of merch. I think everyone will really appreciate this merch. And if you get some merch, I'll tag you in the next video. And with that being said, stay tuned to the video. What's good, y'all? So today, Narwar, no, ah, Narwar, Narward, Narward versus Ice Cube. Let's see, let's see what's going on, man. Let's see, let's see what's going on. You like skip? Cause I don't know if that song's copyrighted, so you know I don't want to just hop up in the air. Here. So, Who are you? <laughs> Ice Cube. Ice Cube, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Okay. Thanks, man. I'm really excited because you're shooting this movie. Are we there yet? In Vancouver, and Vancouver is playing Vancouver. Is that true, Ice Cube? Yeah, Vancouver is playing itself. Which is totally amazing because it never happens that way. Yeah, most people come here and shoot. Uh, every other city but Vancouver, but a lot of movies are shot right here, and uh, we said, yo, we, we there, why, why the hell we won't use Vancouver, you know, so. Thank you very much for acknowledging that, Ice Cube, and I wanted to ask you a bit more about the movie, Are We There Yet? I understand that you're fighting a deer in the movie, that sounds exciting, Ice Cube versus a deer. <laughs> yeah, and I kicked that deer ass, too. Don't worry about nothing, you know. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a kid's comedy, family movie, uh, and it's a trip to see me with a couple of kids, you know, I think that's funny in itself. And Nia Long is also in the movie, and she was also with you with Boys in the Hood, too, right? Yeah, Nia Long, you know, we've been following each other's career for the longest. You know, she's been down since Boys in the Hood. She was in Friday with me, and, you know, now we've come full circle. And uh, Jay Moore is in it, you know, comedian, real funny dude. So we got a good movie. Ice Cube, I'd like to thank you again for setting your movie in Vancouver, BC, Canada. I don't know if you're familiar of who lives in Vancouver, but Tommy Chong used to live in Vancouver. Did you know that, Ice Cube? Oh, you know, uh, it seems like it, you know, with all the budge I got going on around here, you know. Tommy Chong coming from, from uh, BC, you know, that, that, that seems about right. Tommy Chong used to live in Vancouver. Now, unfortunately, he's in jail. But on behalf of the people from Vancouver, British Columbia, I Canada, I want to give you a present, Ice Cube, for actually setting your movie, Are We There Yet, in Vancouver. And this is a present from Tommy Chong and the people of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. This is a Cheech and Chong yeah. incense burner for you, Ice Cube. I'm loving, that. I'm loving this. You know, this is one of my favorite gifts, man. I'm feeling this, man. A Cheech and Chong incense burner, just to let the kids know, an incense burner. Yeah, you know, we'll, 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 we'll keep incense burning in here, no problem. But I like this, man, I dig this. I was a big fan of these movies, you know. We kind of loosely based our Friday movies on these Cheech and Chong movies, so... Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. You're like the next descendant of the Chongster, aren't you there, Ice Cube? Hey, you know, every, everybody got to have a godfather, so I guess Tommy Chong and, and Cheech, you know, those are our godfathers, me and Smokey, and me and uh, Day Day. Ice Cube, the first time I heard N.W.A., I was scared. Good. <laughs> like, it really scared me. You look scared now. Well, you're Nice Cube, so I'm not that scared. <laughs> you're the Nice Cube. But thinking back, you guys weren't the first to do the gangster thing, were you? Well, I guess the full-on West Coast thing. But Schooly D, he did a bit of the gangsterisms too, didn't he, from Philly. Does Schooly D get any props at all, Ice Cube? Yeah, Schooly D get much props. You know, Schooly D, uh, he was definitely one of the originators of gangster rap. You gotta say that. Also, you gotta say KRS-One, you know, Boogie Down Productions. They was doing some hardcore records back then. So, you know, it's a few people that uh, came before N.W.A., but no people came like N.W.A., you know what I mean? So, you know, N.W.A. gotta be the world's most dangerous group. Yes, I am still scared. Good. But I was wondering there, Ice Cube, Schooly D could break dance. What's your dancing ability like there, Ice Cube? I have none. You've never I'm tried any? Nope, I'm like Sir Noise devo devoid of funk. I will never dance. Ice Cube, on your brand new LP with the West Side Connection, you guys have a song called Pimp the System. Yeah. And on it, you sample the Archbishop Don Magic Wan. Yes. Now, who is that guy, the Archbishop Don Magic Wan? He pops up everywhere. He's around Snoop. What's the history of the Archbishop? Oh, he's just one of the OG players, you know, that's been doing it for a long time. 
give us a lot of love in Chicago when we come through. So we got to give it up to the Archbishop. You know what I mean? I, I put him in a movie or two. He was in a Friday After Next, and you know he's our man. He's always popping up everywhere. Like it's cool to see him all these award shows in the background. Like the Archbishop is down, isn't he? The Archbishop is in the house. Yeah, the Archbishop is he 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 I he's all right dude with us. And winding oh, up, man, take your records back. Oh, thank you very much, Ice Cube. I like this. Yes, that's for you. That's for you to keep here. A gift from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Can you smoke this? Uh, incense only there, Ice Cube. And Ice Cube, I was wondering about your first group here, the CIA. This is your first group. Yeah, this is my first group. And this was before NWA. What was the CIA like, and what happened to the rest of the guys? Oh, these criminals in action. That's what CIA stood for. And, uh, you know, you got Sir Jinx. He, he went on to produce for me on a couple of records. And then you got my man... Uh, KD, you know, I put a record out on him in like uh, 80, I mean 97. So, you know, everybody's still around, man. Where'd you find this, dude? Just in a record store called Beat Street in Vancouver. They've reissued that. That's a reissue. It's a bootleg. Produced by Dr. Dre. Produced by Dr. Dre. And I was wondering that, Ice Cube, what is it like back then? What was it like back then with the CIA scene? What was it like, like the pre-NWA? Because I've seen pictures of Ice-T, and he's looking pretty crazy dressed up electronica. What did you look like back then in the CIA era? Trust me, I didn't look like n none of them dudes, you know. I still dress like myself. See, we was broke, so we couldn't afford nothing yeah. but khakis and T-shirts. So we just dressed like ourselves back then, and... uh you know, it was cool. You know, we were struggling. We was all trying to get get on. You know, uh, it's not my favorite record, but, you know, we was on wax. We was happy. Ice-T was into that sort of electronica thing, wasn't he? Like, he was wearing some crazy outfits, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I think he was into the break dance and stuff, you know. And when you, when you, back then in the 80s, you know what I mean? Break dancing, you had on the spikes and, you know, nothing like what you got on, but, but similar. Ice-T was down with it. I don't know about all that, but I know a uh, dude, he wore spikes, yeah. Well, thanks so much, Ice Cube. Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? I love this, man. Thanks. Appreciate this much music. Well, or, or did you give me this? That's from the people of Vancouver. Me, Nardwar, the human serviette, the people of Vancouver for you, Ice Cube. Because you actually shot your movie in Vancouver and actually based your movie in Vancouver, which is very, very rare. Yeah, this is the bomb, man. I'll let you smoke it with me later. Incense again. This is for the kids again. This is a kids yeah, movie. Are we there yet? Yeah. An incense burner. And actually, lastly, the ice cube. Do you still buy in bulk? Yeah, man, I buy a lot in bulk. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much. Keep on rocking the free world, Ice Cube, and do 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 do. <laughs> this dude crazy. West Side for life, all day, every day. It don't stop till the panties drop. Right here on Much Music. What? You know. You know. My dad used to say stuff like that. My dad is a big Ice Cube fan. And <laughs> Run DMC fan. He loves he loves rap. He he was like fifty something years old. My my dad grew up in the beginning era of rap. Like <laughs> the beginning stuff way back. So he knows everybody from MF Doom. Everybody. I got that's why I wanna rap one of the reasons because of my dad. I miss with Ice Cube. I, li I love his album. My favorite song from him is Giving Up Your Nappy Dugout um, and it's Kill Sam. I love Kill Sam. That When I heard that song for the first time, that got me hooked to Ice Cube. But with that being said, y'all be sure to like the video. Be sure to give me y'all thoughts on this video. You know, I'm just... I'm just reacting, honestly. I'm chill. You know, I'm not going to be all, oh, my God, oh, and all that extra shit because it's not that deep. It's just me, a black dude from, you know, wherever, giving his honest opinion about stuff. I'm just relaxing and chilling, you know, living my best life. I love doing this for myself. I'm having fun myself. I love reacting to videos. I just think everybody else like the videos I like because, you know, I'm cool like that, I guess. But that being said, stay tuned for the next video. Peace. Sorry, you're the poet.